Jamon <laughs> made a three. Man. Steph didn't even make a point in the fourth, or in the overtime, it looks like. Still 37 is good. Melee. So, let me recap the mango thing. Um, because the last, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube and my audio went out of sync. Um, I'm really excited for Mango. I'm happy that he sh demonstrated that he could win a tournament. Um, but realistically, there are still many question marks because I don't know how he's gonna fare against Hungrybox. And let's say instead of um, Left and Axe as like the people he needs to beat, let's say he gets like Plop or Muta King into um, into Zane, into Hungrybox, or something that might give Mango a little bit more trouble. I'm not sure if he wins that. And, um, he almost lost to Swedish, so, like, if that one edge guard went somewhat different, um, we would have a whole different, you know, discussion here where Mango maybe doesn't get to Grand Finals. But, all in all, um, I think with that being said, um, you do have to get somewhat lucky to win a tournament. And I, th I do think that given what we saw on Sunday, like the fact that he whooped Leffen pretty hard after Leffen just beat Hungrybox was like pretty impressive. And maybe we can make Johns and say like this is because Leffen was too used to the pacing of Ultimate, which is why he was good at, good at fighting Hungrybox, but maybe not so much against Mango. Um, so there's a lot of question marks, but I think what we do see is um, just as much as Mango has things to prove, so do the other players. Um, Hungrybox now has two tournaments in a row where it's been less not on par with his usual performances. Um, and Mango's kind of been on an upward trend, he's very confident. Um, and he's not only that, but if you were to watch his games and go like, okay, like how is Mango winning? these events, or how did he win Gommel, how did he beat Leffen, I think there's some promise that he added new toolboxes, and he actually changed a lot of his gameplay um, to adapt to players specifically, and he only really does that when he's like really motivated. Um, I can tell you this much, that when I told him to like start thinking about like updating his characters to fight certain players, like in 2016 to 2018, he, he was super lazy about it, but the fact that he added new tools specifically for this tournament, um, look at his punish game especially, uh, um, and the way he handles tech chasing and how he reads DIs, and how he immediately punishes tech in place now, in no tech. Um, these are really new things he's adding to his game and that he's punishing super hard. So Leffen, for example, for example, Leffen really likes to tech in place a lot, or he likes to um, no tech and um, Mango, realizing this, added in a certain decision tree that covers both options very strong. He slightly delays his up tilt or his shine to cover both options as a reaction. And he was punishing Leffen really hard because of this kind of new add-on. Um, so his punish game was super on point. You saw this like, all across the tournament. And also what I liked from Mang what I saw from Mango was how much he was actively thinking about his approaches. Um, when Mango is really sloppy and lazy, he just kind of runs in. And the question is not whether or not he's going to pull back, or if he's going to wait, or if he's going to run away. It's if and when is Mango going to come in, and that's the only mix that you have to think about when Mango's playing sloppy. And you'll see this in the Hungry Box sets, like, especially in the later parts when Mango's kind of like not thinking anymore, is that he's just kind of going in and just trying to force his way to bulldoze his opponent. But a player like Hungrybox is so good at like beating out that kind of approach once like it's been established that that's what Mango's gonna go for, that you can't really go to a bulldoze run over your opponent's style unless certain conditions are met with your opponent and what they're looking for. So um, Mango was very proactive in his approaches, how he fought against shields, like it was overall like him firing on all cylinders. So um, that's what I really like to see. I think that, that if he can play with that level of thought and consistency and like not, um, and there's also like a certain level of respect too, um, where he knows that his opponent's capable of beating out some of his options and now he has to go like, okay, well, 
now that my opponent's looking for this, like, what can I do? Rather than go, like, okay, I just want to go in. So that's, like, the big difference I notice in terms of gameplay. Um, and so I, I think the big thing here is, like, I hope that the taste of winning and moving forward encourages him to take tournaments more serious, where he just, like, I don't really care about how much money I make on streaming, I just want to win um, because he makes already a lot of money off of streaming. But I hope that like he continues to stream and you know I'm not saying to like cut his you know a lot of his net worth, but I want I want him to go back to the mindset of I can win every tournament and I am better than these people. Like and I'm gonna show I'm gonna prove to everybody that I am better than everybody. Um, I think if he can come in with that mindset and that like Kobe-esque mindset, then like we might pretend like of course I'm speaking a little bit ahead of myself here, but we might see like Mango go on a mini streak. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a for sure thing, but at the very least, it's not that like Mango is not a um, where we originally would go like okay, like Mango could win this, but it's very likely not. Where I mean, I think that's kind of the attitude that most people had when they were analyzing events. It's like, what's the likelihood of Mango winning? And no one outright said that Mango couldn't win. It just like, I think the general consensus was like, well, Mango could win, but it's not very likely. But now we're getting to the point of, well, not only can Mango win, um, he might actually be like a, like a low-key favorite now. Um, so hopefully we get to see more because when Mango wins, like it's really ex it's really exciting to watch Mango in general. So like I'm happy for him. Um, we actually did um, he did drunk text me yesterday quite a bit, and it was kind of sweet. Um, he was very happy, and it was like I was like his like proud. You know when like a kid goes to like their Asian dad, and they're just like looking for um, approval. Um, What's, I, I can't think of the word. Um, they're like, it's kind of the idea of, like, didn't I do well? Didn't I do a good job, Dad? And like, they're looking for af affirmation. Yeah, it's like, he was like looking for affirmation for me <laughs> as like his old coach. Like saying, and then I just told him like, good job, man. Like, keep it up. But like, there's a lot more. But being the Asian dad I am, I'm just like, there's still a lot of work that you need to do. And there's still a lot of question marks that you need to prove to your haters because this is just one event of many this summer. But he's extremely motivated from based on my conversations with him. So um, that's been that was like the discussion I had last night with him. So yeah, I'm excited for um, what, what's up ahead. Um, hopefully, like the one worry I do have, um, there are moments where it's kind of funny where Mango gets super motivated, um, and he's like a—he might punch me if I said this. He's um, he's a softy um, as much as he puts on this tough guy team beer act. Like he is. Actually, he doesn't like. He admits this. He's a crier at movies. Um, he cries a lot. Like at every movie that's like remotely emotional or inspirational, like I think it like hits him super hard, and he starts like crying. There's nothing wrong with crying, actually. But um, I guess the p larger point I'm trying to make is um, he can get very motivated, emotionally motivated quickly. But just as he can get motivated, um, it can very quickly disappear. So like. Um, where um, that motivation quickly gets lost, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. And hopefully that doesn't happen here. I, like, I hope that the motivation and the drive to become the best again um, continues throughout the one summer and it's not just a blip in the pan. So um, that's kind of what I hope for. And part of me is just like, I wish I was still coaching him. Um, and then we could have these kind of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, it was really cool. I think that's like one thing I miss about like being Mega Coach is we used to have these long heart-to-hearts. Um, so those are my thoughts on Mango. I'm going to probably put this video up. I don't know. Do you guys like me talking about Melee while I'm playing Tetris? Like it seems pretty bizarre.